Welcome to a video from the Digital Lifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to quick look at what's new in HoloLens build uh, Redstone 517748. And there's not a lot changed actually in this build, but it's good to keep up with them and see what's been changing. So here's the release notes from Microsoft, and they say that they've um, fixed some bugs and stability improvements. There are a couple of known issues. Uh, lower than expected frame rates when you're using the holographic remoting, that's for developers. And they're also investigation, investigating the issue where it was blocking users from receiving incoming calls with uh, Skype and Microsoft Remote Assist. I haven't seen that Remote Assist, I can't get working. Skype kind of works okay. So um, those are the only two known issues with this build. And so far, I found this build uh, pretty good. It did introduce, or Rest on Fire's introduced a lot of new features like notifications. Uh, Miracast streaming, which works really well. I've been testing that, and actually, it works much better than using the the web-based streaming of the app that uh, Microsoft's made. So, if you want to show people what you're doing on Hololens and connect there via Miracast, works much better, and you can use the Miracast app on a, on a Windows 10 PC as well. So, it's a great way of moving there uh, of showing people what you're doing. This build introduced the Mixed Reality View app as well, so you can actually view. Um, 3D objects within the space of uh, HoloLens, not just from the Holograms app. I've, I've previous videos have shown these features off, but in this video I just wanted to tell you about the changes with this uh, this build. I think we're pretty much coming to the end of development of Redstone 5 for HoloLens, as is for the PC as well. So maybe a couple more builds, get rid of these known issues, and then that'll be ready to roll out. So after a few years of having not had a lot of HoloLens development, now we're getting quite a lot. We had Redstone 4 a couple months ago, and now on Redstone 5. So interesting to see what the next development brings with 19H1. So more on our YouTube channel on the digitallifestyle.com, at ISTICS and on Twitter.